Good morning, Stella. Oh, hey, Fred. Stella, you okay? You seem a little down. I'm fine, Fred. It's just all the stuff going on in the world. People seem so angry and upset. Things just aren't like they're supposed to be. And I guess maybe I'm a little bit scared. Scared? You? Stella, you never worry. You always say that God has things under control. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. It doesn't seem like Jesus is anywhere around. Maybe he got tired of us always arguing and fighting with each other and left. Stella, Jesus would never leave us. Actually, the disciples had the same kind of problem in today's gospel. Really? Yep. They were a lot like people now. Things were happening in their world, and they didn't know how it was going to end up. Jesus had just been crucified, and they thought he was gone for good. Spoiler alert, he told them before he died that he would be back. The disciples were hiding in locked houses, afraid. I can relate to that. And then Jesus popped up. Well, it says he stood among them, but I like to think of it as, Surprise, guys! Uh, you know, after he was raised from the dead, and they were all happy. And then, and then he breathed the Holy Spirit on them. Yeah, surprise, guys. I wish Jesus would surprise us by just popping up. Well, about that... You know the whole Holy Spirit thing. I used to think it was something like Casper, the friendly ghost, who followed the disciples around. But my Sunday school teacher explained that really it's a part of God and Jesus that we carry around in us. I just wish that I could see him and know that everything will be okay. Well, that's in the gospel today, too. Thomas was out when Jesus came, so he didn't see him. When the other disciples told Thomas about it, he said he'd believe when he could put his hands in Jesus' wounds. Which sounds kind of gross, but I guess it makes his point. I feel like Thomas sometimes. You know, seeing is believing. But Jesus had an answer. I love this guy. He always has an answer. He appeared to Thomas later and told him to put his hand on his wound. And Thomas believed, and then Jesus said that even though Thomas believes because he saw, the people who didn't see Jesus and still believe are blessed. I just feel like if Jesus were here, he could fix everything. But that's the point, Stella. Jesus already fixed the worst thing. He died for our sins, so now we can go live with, live in heaven with him someday. Yeah, but what about all the bad stuff that's happening right now? Well, we know that even when we can't see him, we know that God is in charge. And Jesus left teachings for how we're supposed to act and react to what's going on in the world. So we just have to keep on keeping on, even when it feels like Jesus isn't here. You know, spread the word of God, love your neighbor, and all that stuff. Besides, it'll be all right. Yeah, because Jesus is here with us. Heads up, he has an alias. He goes into the Holy Spirit now. Shh. Thanks, Fred. You know, nobody does the Bible like you do, but I, I do feel a little more hopeful right now. You're welcome, Stella. That's what I'm here for. You know, though, I still think it'd be cool if the Holy Spirit followed us around like Casper. Oh, my. Goodbye, Fred. Bye, Stella.